Good morning everyone, I am Teacher Shai and I will be your teacher for today. So before we start, can you please sit down and be ready because I have to check the attendance. Since everyone is here, let us play a game and I call this one as What Word Am I? Okay, settle down. I know that you're all excited but I need you to sit down and listen carefully to my instruction. Are we clear? Okay, so I have five definitions here and five words and I need five students from the class to try to identify which of these words is appropriate for each definition. Okay? Okay, thank you everyone for participating. Now, please take note of these words because you're going to encounter it later on our discussion. Okay? Now, our topic for today is all about the sonnet called Laura, which was written by Petrarch and was translated by Morris Bishop. Now, at the end of our discussion, I am expecting the class to explain the concept of sonnet, identify the literary devices in the sonnet, and analyze the underlying meaning of the sonnet or poem Laura. Have you ever heard the word sonnet? Do you have any idea of what a sonnet is? Okay, a type of poem that is actually correct. Now, sonnet is derived from the Italian word sonetto, which means a little song or small lyric. Now, sonnet is a short lyric poem composed in iambic pentameter with a twist in meaning known as turn or toward the end. Now, in poetry, a sonnet has 14 lines and each line has 10 syllables. Now, it has a specific rhyme scheme and a volta or a specific turn. Sonnets has six major types, but the two basic forms of a sonnet is called Petrarchan or Italian sonnet and Shakespearean or English sonnet. Now, the rhyme scheme of a Petrarchan or Italian sonnet is A, B, B, A, A, B, B, A, C, D, E, C, D, E. On the other hand, the Shakespearean or English sonnet's rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. Sonnets originated in Italy, which was popularized by the poet Petrarch. But who is Petrarch? Francesco Petrarca or Petrarch is an Italian scholar, poet, and a humanist whose poems are dedicated to Laura. And Laura is the idealized beloved of Petrarch. Now, Petrarch contributed great literary works, that's why he was regarded as the greatest scholar of his time. Some of his notable works are Triumphs, Petrarch's Secret, Canzoneri, Epistolometrica, and Rhyme in Morte di Laura. Now, what is an Italian or Petrarchan sonnet? Italian or Petrarchan sonnet is introduced by 14th century Italian poet Petrarch. Petrarchan sonnet features the first eight lines called an octet, which rhymes as A B B A, A B B A, C B C, C B C. Now, the remaining six lines are called sestet and might have a range of rhyme schemes. But before we proceed to the poem, let me first ask you a question. Have you ever been in love? Okay. Now, I ask you that question because I want you to feel the poem that we're going to recite later. Okay? So, in the count of three, let us read it together. One, two, three. Laura. Translated by Morris Bishop. She used to let her golden hair fly free for the wind to toy and sandal and molest. Her eyes were brighter than the raging quest. Seldom they shine so now. I used to see pity look out of those deep eyes on me. It was pity you would now protest. I have love's tinder hit within my breast. What wonder did the flame burn furiously? She did not walk in any mortal way, but with angelic progress. When she spoke, unearthly voices sang in unison. She seemed divine among the dreary folk of earth. You say, she is not so today? Well, though the bows unbent, the wound leads on. Let us try to analyze the sonnet. For my first question, to whom is the speaker talking? Okay, interesting answer. So what do you think might have occasioned the writing of the poem? Or what happened that pushed Petrarch to make the poem? Okay, next is how did Petrarch describe Laura? Can you give me an example? Okay, that is correct. If you will try to notice, 
the chart gave us so many visual images. Now, what do we call, what type of literary device is that? Okay, imagery, that is correct. Next question. In the third to eighth line, what do you think Petrarch was trying to say? Okay. For number five, what hyperbole or exaggeration does the speaker use to make his points? Any answer? Can someone read the part of the poem that shows signs of hyperbole? Okay. Now, how did you interpret the last line? Okay, interesting answer. Now, how would you describe the speaker's Pet or Petrarch's love? Can you give me at least three words that reveals his attitude? Okay, thank you. Do you have any question? Okay, not. Let's have an activity. Since the pandemic started, I know that many of us miss someone that we often used to be with, right? Because of social distancing. So now, I'd like you to relate the poem to your experiences. So, let us write a letter. This is the instruction. So, in a sheet of paper, I'd like you to write a letter to someone you miss. Describe the characteristics or features as well as the memories you have with that person. You may use some literary devices in describing, okay? So, explain why you love that person. You can also use art materials or anything that you like so you could decorate your letter okay are we clear now you will be graded using this criteria for content we have 50 percent creativity style and originality 30 percent coherence of form and structure 10 percent clarity of imagery and language 10 percent okay are you done please pass your outputs okay let's have a group activity I will divide the class into five groups, and each group must reimagine the story of Nora and Petrarch in the modern world by creating a short film. Are you all excited? Okay. Now, do you have any question? Okay, how many minutes? Five to eight minutes. And you will be graded using this criteria. For originality, we have 30%. For creativity, we have 20%. For performance, we have 20%. Collaboration, we have 10%. And relevance is 20%. You still have any question? Okay. That is all for today, class. Thank you for participating. But before we leave, um, I would like to leave you a quote by Petrarch. And it says, I wish to go beyond the fire that burns me. So whatever burning feeling you feel or whatever pain you feel right now, I want you to go through it. I want you to go beyond it. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you.